Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about the recent video I put out the other day where I was basically talking about my experiences with Dragon's Dogma 2. And it's pretty clear that that video is, I think, probably my most controversial video I've made so far on this channel with about, I don't know, like a 40% like to dislike ratio. So it's, it's pretty big. So for today, we're going to be talking about some of the concerns that a lot of you people had, some criticisms and things like that. But I will say this. Everything that I said in that video, I stand by it completely. I had a number of issues with this game, and despite all of that, I can confidently say that, yeah, this is a decent game. Do I think it's game of the year? Probably not. And you know, for the most part, I think they did some pretty good things with this game. And like I mentioned in my video before, the pawn system is really good. The AI and the pathing on the characters is actually really good for what it's worth. You know, the biggest gripe I have with like the pawns is just the constant babbling of like saying the same things over and over again. But again, the AI with the pawn system is just really good. And you know, the little things like, you know, falling and being able to be caught by one of your characters, stuff like that is just really cool. But anyways, let's talk about the criticisms that everyone had. So the first one that I think was kind of like the majority of one or the major one was that my expectations were wrong with this game. You know, there people were saying that you know, I was expecting this game to be like The Witcher or, you know, something like that. And because this game is definitely not that, that's why, you know, it's basically my fault that I didn't enjoy the game. I overhyped it, essentially. And while I could definitely see where people are coming from with that argument, I just feel like it doesn't really add up. Mainly because when I was looking at all of the promotional videos and clips and just, you know, the trailers and, and everything surrounding this game, you know, the developers really didn't do a very good job, in my opinion, of kind of really honing down what exactly this game was. In my opinion, from everything that I looked at, yeah, it looked like it was going to be this kind of like big, grandiose RPG game. And obviously, someone like me that has not played the first game, when I looked at this game, yeah, it looked like The Witcher, you know? It looked like a big, kind of AAA, massively budgeted RPG. And when it comes to big budgeted RPGs, there are certain things that are just kind of expected to be included in these games. Things like a big open world, you know, a main story quest line that is really deep and interesting and has a pretty satisfying resolution at least, right? Lots of dialogue options and choices that, you know, have some certain consequences for the storyline in your game. And then the other thing is when you look at the kind of big bosses and monsters in this game where you see your character kind of climbing them and fighting them and stuff like that. For me, it's like this game just kind of looks like a mixture of, you know, The Witcher, Monster Hunter, uh, like Boulder's Gate kind of. And when you have a game that kind of looks like all of those things, you kind of expect some of the things from those games to be inside this game. And when it didn't have those certain features that you were kind of expecting, I think for me that is kind of where, that's kind of like where the letdown was for me. The other big complaint that I saw a lot in my comment section was, oh, you just didn't play the game long enough. And I feel like regardless of games, that is a really poor excuse. Like, you shouldn't have to spend hundreds of hours invested into a game to finally, I guess, get it or enjoy the game. In my opinion, I feel like you should be able to get a good experience and get a good feel for the game, you know, at least under 100 hours. You know, you shouldn't be required to have thousands of hours, a maxed out character, you know, gone through and explored the entire map and done all the side quests for you to, you know, or for people to be like, yeah, now you can talk about the game. Now you can say if it's good or not. That's just ridiculous. And then the last kind of like big thing that I saw a couple of people mention was that apparently I'm riding the hate train and just trying to chase views by making a video that's bashing the game, which is completely nonsense, by the way. If I wanted to chase views, as some of these people said, I could have made a video just like glowing about the game and saying how amazing it was. But that's not me and that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about me giving you guys my honest opinions on things and regardless of, you know, me putting out a popular opinion or a controversial opinion, I'm going to put it out there because that's how I feel. And I think at the end of the day, that is all everyone cares about is integrity. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you guys want to stay informed, educated, and excited for the next upcoming games coming out. Thanks again for watching. I'm still solo, and I'll see you all in the next one.